Yo, what is up guys? So, just want to mention as a heads up that the videos for the next like couple days will be a little bit uh, different because I'm on a completely different setup. My power supply decided to pull off a Black Rose Dragon destroying itself as well. So until that gets fixed, which should be in the next couple days, uh, we're going to have some ghetto overlays, no face cam, but just want to mention that as a heads up. Don't worry, I'm not like removing face cam. But anyways guys, today we're here to show off the new Modulches in action. I'm actually pretty excited about it because... I really like the new Modul Chase, um, as far as like the whole archetype when it first got announced, before we even got a bunch of the newer support, like the uh, Pudding Sessure, and of course all of the newer uh, support that recently came out, the deck unfortunately just wasn't really playable. Right now, um, Modul Chase have a much better turn one play, as you guys are about to see, uh, courtesy of some of the newer cards instantly being able to set one of the newer cards, like the Modulce Promenade over here, which allows you to go ahead and negate one effect of an opponent's monster, and then you're on top of that, able to go ahead and uh, one Modulce monster that you control in your graveyard, you get to actually uh, return that target to the hand, so it allows you to have no monsters in the graveyard, and then also lets you kind of set up for the next turn. But in addition with that, we also happen to have better usage of Modulce Knights, which actually lets you go ahead and negate the activation of an, a, an opponent's Card. Now, if you have to have Pudding Sus, which is a lot easier to do now, uh, you're also going to be able to simply get out that other effect where you get to shuffle one random card from their hand into the deck. So, on average now, Modulches will be able to much more consistently be able to pull off a, like, three-card negation. Technically, you're negating two cards and then one card gets shuffled from their hand hand into the deck so they just lose out so at the end of the day they happen to have three cards to deal with a full monster board and then with the next turn allowing you to simply otk very very easy now with this deck i would say that um i don't think i'd consider it like the s tier in the category where it would be like the best next deck it is way 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 better because modulche's well, going turn one was terrible before the best play you had was throw up as many monsters as possible hope your opponent doesn't uh pull off um an otk against you um the best play honestly came down to like the Turia beast in the deck but uh now you can actually open up a lot more consistent too and doing that beast isn't the easiest and uh, nowadays, um, NetBeast might not be enough because there's just so many other disruptions. Now, um, the deck can kind of play through one negation a little bit easier now because with one of the newer continuous spell cards, which you guys are seeing over here at Modulce Salon, um, it's a continuous spell card that lets you gain an additional normal summon. Uh, but the main effect that you're really using it for is if another Modulce card or card you control and, and is in your graveyard is returned from your hand and or deck by a card effect, you get to set a Modulce spell or trap directly from your deck except for itself. So this can actually be applied during either player's turn, which is actually quite nice. Uh, but yeah, this is what really allows the deck to be a lot better, otherwise you wouldn't have that extra uh, free negation plus again now that you can kind of play through other um plays because before you'd go for the modulce cat what is it it's been a while since i, I checked out modulce but uh what is it mu fell um that was like the opener and then you also had angeli and then you also have uh this card which i think is well I'm going too fast over here but the pudding sister made a lot of people come back to modulce but it, it simply was not enough and now with this newer support i think that they're going to be doing a lot better uh, but let me know, guys, if you guys think this deck is going to be anywhere near in the competitive scene. For me, I feel like a lot of people will be playing it. And sometimes a deck can be competitive simply because so many people play it, even though it might not be the best deck if it is relatively budget. But if you check some of the prices and sometimes uh, Magellan specifically in Modul Chase, it's just really expensive for like how good it is, if it makes sense. But I know you guys like those uh, anime girl cards, so you just drive up the price of like the Dark Magician Girl, Dragon Knight. There's a lot of good Yu-Gi-Oh cards simply like that, where they're just like there for collector's value, and they are just kind of way more expensive than they should be. Especially like Harpies, all right? Uh, I wanted to build Harpies for a friend, and uh, those, some of the cards are ridiculously expensive. Um, anyways, nonetheless... Um, the Modulches did technically get another card that I didn't get to mention until right now, which is the Modulche Link Monster, the Fresh Start. Uh, her ability is actually pretty decent because it makes it so uh, Modulche Spell and Traps you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Um, and then neither player can also target them with card effects. Uh, and then if this uh, 
card on the field will be destroyed. You can shuffle Melodia monsters from your graveyard into the deck instead. So, uh, therefore, allowing you to have no monsters in the graveyard because there are some uh, effects that require that, like Melodia Knights, where um, as long as you have no monsters in your graveyard. And again, the newer uh, card, the Promenade, will allow you to go ahead and uh, get that additional card not in the graveyard, if that makes sense. Um, Unfortunately, it does have to be a uh, Mondolce. I know it sounds dumb, but like it really hurts the hand traps because most decks want to play hand traps, right? Um, it, there's going to be very few decks that are like, yo, I'm just going to go ahead and skip out on hand traps. Uh, Infernity is one of those decks where sometimes you kind of need to do that because, well, you need to have no cards in your hand, right? And I remember uh, older versions of hero decks uh, sometimes question playing those uh, hand traps because of cards like Elements Hero Bubble Man. Uh, so they opted to play things like Crow, which you can just automatically just get rid of ASAP, uh, versus Valor requiring something to kind of be there, if that makes sense. But, unless, once again, kind of the same bread and butter combo. Now this is one of the, it's not like a super new card, but the uh, Glass Souffle over here um, lets you, as a quick effect, detach a material, target a model shape, monster on the field, um, and this turn that face up, monster is unaffected by monster effects, so it, it tries to let you stall. Like, that's how originally, like, the, the Mundo just kind of tried to evolve into to try to stall a little bit longer, but again, the deck doesn't have an insane turn one, but it, it at least has a turn one now, and that lets you basically stall uh, with, uh, you can stall with Assist Tart also, but for the most part, it's more so of the same, but you happen to have two negations. Uh, and then, well, you have two negations, and then one card will also shuffle one random card in your opponent's hand, which, uh, I don't know. That it's basically getting rid of three cards, which is still a lot better. And then you're able to actually utilize the uh, putting sets a lot easier now with, of course, all the other uh, support cards that made um, them support putting sets. Because a lot of the cards uh, want you to have putting sets. Uh, but uh, with Chaka Ola mode, it makes things much easier to go ahead and utilize some of those other combos here. But now that you guys have seen the gameplay, you've seen what the deck can do turn one. Let's go ahead and hop right into the deck profile. Shout out to my boy Magus Lucis for hooking me up with the plays over here. So anyways, with the deck profile, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we've got one copy of Nibiru. Uh, we've got two copies of Pudding Cess, three copies of Meshon Gelato, two copies of the Pudding Cess Yor, three copies of Magdalene, three copies of Jelly, three copies of Hoot Cake, three copies of Mew Fell, uh, three copies of Ash, one copy of Terraforming, one Reborn. This is not really here. It's a 40 card deck. Um, this is just for Master Rule 5 or Master Rule 2020. We have Called by the Grave, two copies of Ticket, uh, two copies of Salon, three copies of Chateau over here, three copies of Impermanence, two copies of Promenade, and two copies of Knight. So the idea is to basically go for like both turn one, then you have like a three card negate. And then if you happen to have this, that's like a four card negate. But honestly, if you're looking to negate everything that your opponent is doing, I think there are decks definitely with better options here. As far as the extra deck goes, we got uh, two copies of uh, Chocolate a la Mode, one copy of Utopia, and then the Utopia lineup here. Three copies of Tiaramisu, uh, two copies of Glass of Flay, one copy of Levier, Boiload, Saryuja, and then uh, two copies of Sistar. Honestly, I think you can get away with uh, Extravagance in this, just max out on a lot of the Modulture stuff. Levier is actually quite nice to have as well, but I think that the deck, uh, it's still, it needs something else to become an S tier deck. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this, and uh, again, sorry about like the scuff setup. Again, computer's power supply black rose itself, so... I will definitely fix it up in the next couple days and uh, we'll get back to the normal quality because I believe now we have to record in 900p because I'm doing it on another computer. But anyways, thanks for sticking around guys and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you are new here, I promise my videos aren't this scuffed. It looks a lot better in the future. Anyways, thanks for tuning in guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in and also if you guys want to make any suggestions to this Modolce build, let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys, and if you are new here, hit subscribe, turn on that bell, and I promise the videos will be much better in the next couple days. But thanks for tuning in, and I'm out. Peace.